the aesthetic editing style is super popular right now. And I know it is not that easy to make, so I thought I'm gonna make a tutorial on that. You probably see the edit on screen right now, and don't worry, I will teach you everything step by step. So after this video, you will 100% know how to make a good freaking aesthetic edit. As you can see, I already did my clips. And the first thing we will do is the time remap. Before we start, put multi frame rate and motion blur on. This is important because you want to have a smooth time remap. Okay, so go to your first clip, mark it, right click, time, and freeze frame. Take your cursor all the way to the right, like one frame before it. Go to the left and you will see a bunch of numbers. What you need to do now is to hold the left mouse button and play around with the last number until you like it. Now you can put your keyframe all the way to the right. Mark both of the keyframes and easy ease them. Just press F9 for that. And then go to the graph editor and copy my graph. By the way, don't do this graph. I absolutely hate this graph. I see it all the time when people do tutorials about time remap. I think it's not good. Sometimes it works, yes, but you should not do this graph all the time. It will look just choppy. I will also put some other graphs here that you can copy as well. And I put a description as well there. So you know when you can use them. All right, now you need to do this with every single other clip and I know this takes a lot of time, but trust me, it's worth. Now we will pre-compose all of the clips and do the zooms. To pre-compose your clip, just press Control shift z and do it for all of the clips. I already showed how I do my zooms in a different video. Basically copy my settings right here and you're good to go. The next thing we will do are the one framers. Before I start with showing you how to do one framers, I want you to understand why you should use them. Basically, you use one framers to keep the flow, if that makes sense. I don't really like the flow here, for instance, because this looks a little bit stiff. And to change this, I go to layer, new solid and make it all white. Then just cut it so it's one frame long. Just press Control Shift D for that. Then press Control D to like copy it. And basically now you have two one framers and the flow looks way, way better. Now just copy all of the white solids where you want them to have. Another thing you can do are black solids. I always use them when I hear hi-hats. So I'm gonna probably put an example here in. And just spam them every single time you hear hi-hats. This looks so much better. And it's pretty much it. And then you're done with the one framers. Okay, now we will add some transitions to make this look cooler. Let's start with this transition. I don't know how to call this, but you see it on the screen. It's pretty easy and it's also super freaking cool. Make sure to pre-compose your clip so there are no effects on because it might glitch if you have some effects on there. Go to your first clip, go to the end and cut the last frame. Put proportional grid on and use the masking tool and just do what I do. Go to the second clip, cut the first frame, take the masking tool and copy me. You can by the way just change the direction as well so it should look something like that. I also added a X slide transition if you want to know how to do a transition like that. I already made a YouTube tutorial about that so yeah, go watch it if you want to. The next thing we will do is the intro and I show you how I create my text. For this type of text, you need to write every single word individually. So search for the T symbol and write your first word. I use Arial Bold, by the way, if you want to use the same font as me. And adjust your text. And do it now with all of the other words as well and adjust them how you want them to stay, if that makes sense. Once you finish that, go to Layer, New and create a solid. Cut it so it's one frame long and adjust it so it's basically above the text and has the same size as the text. And do it now with all of the other words. Once you finish this, pre-compose all of the text layers and solids so you have one big ass clip. 
select your 3D symbol and play around with the right rotation and you are done. Now we will add some more effects to just spice this edit up. Create an adjustment layer and put your CC on and pre-compose the adjustment layer with all of the clips. Search for S underscore flicker and put it onto your clip. Change the amplitude to 0.13. Now we will do the panning. Search for S shake again. Change the amplitude to 0.1. Change the frequency to 2 and you're done. You can also add your outro watermark. I also made a tutorial about that, so you can also watch this. The aesthetic editing style is a little bit complicated in the beginning, but trust me, once you get the hang out of it, it's pretty easy and it's super fun to make. Anyway, thank you so much for the support and bye bye.